Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are working on um, my veggie garden today in Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So I've started doing my carrots. I did actually start my video and then I've turned my video off because I didn't like what I did so I cut it out and I've started again. Um, if you're really not happy with something, always make sure you take it out because you just won't, you, you can't, you won't like it. So um, I've gone around the edges of my garden here with this thick wool, just in a running stitch. I got that done because that, you know, you didn't need to see me doing that. Um, and now I'm doing my little carrots. These are going to be carrots in this little garden patch here. So we'll do those. And these ones I'll maybe do one of each. And then... Um, that way you can see them and I'll finish them off camera. We'll just see how we go, how long it takes. So with my carrots, I'm just doing an open-ended sort of daisy stitch. And then I'm colouring it in so that the carrots are half in and half out of the garden. I have zoomed in today, but what I did was I pulled the arm down so I can actually see if I'm on camera or not. And I've positioned it so it's like I'm sitting here comfortable, if you know what I mean. Like I don't feel like I'm having to, you know, stretch forward or something while I'm stitching so that you I'm on camera, on screen. Okay, I do need to put another stitch in the centre there. And I now grab another. And I'm just using those beautiful mohair wools that I got from the Cruel Goblin that I've shared a few times on, um, I think I shared a post on Instagram. And you all thought I had bought them all and I didn't. They weren't all mine. And the ones in the bags were, were Julie's stock. She's the owner of the Cruel Goblin. So she, yeah, she has them on her website. I think I put them in my last video. Um, in the sales section. Okay, so here we go. We'll do the carrots down on the next level. I don't want to make them too big because they're going to have green shooting up. So I think I'll bring them down a little bit lower. So I'm not closing my daisy stitch so that way I get the carrot shape or the half carrot shape, the top half of the carrot. So we did have a bit of snow for about an hour, but it, um, it was starting to stick, but now the sun's come out, so it's I can see it's all... It was just in the little um, fork of the tree over there, I could see. Um, but it has all melted away because the sun is shining, even though it's probably zero degrees. We have a cold front from... Siberia hitting Europe at the moment. But Lulu's, it wasn't snowing at Lulu's school. It's only like, you know, 12 minutes down the road, 13 minutes down the road. But um, it's always two or three degrees more than here, than where we are here. With that, you know, that a few kilometres a bit further north, it's weird. But it's always a bit warmer there than it is here. Oh, and I've just been informed by a, um, a lady who, um, she's called Jodie Rickrack, I think, on Instagram. Um, I've had actually few notifications. I know that my, my, my Sydney pouch pattern is being sold on other websites. Um, well, I actually, they've taken all my images um, from Instagram and from my blog. And um, they... I, I mean, and this silly website selling it for more than me. Um, and I don't actually think, Jaff was telling me, I don't actually think you receive anything from them. That You think you're buying the PDF pattern, but they don't ever send you anything. And they've got fake addresses and fake, um, fake um, emails and everything. And they've got multiple websites and they're, they're, share, they're advertising all over the place on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and you, if you purchase something from them, you're actually not going to receive anything. 
um, they've just stolen people's images. So she's reported them. I There's a couple in Eastern Europe and I can't open them. Google's already blocked them. But just know that my, my patterns are only sold by me on Etsy. So if you see, see my pattern somewhere else on a different website, don't buy it because you won't receive anything. And in actual fact, a lady sent me an image and uh, that was one of the Eastern Europe, European ones. And it had um, that my, I was, uh, my pattern was on sale. Um, and, it, and when I answered her, I thought she had, someone had pinned it maybe from Pinterest when I did have my sale at the beginning of January. And that's what she was seeing. But um, in actual fact, I think it was from that, that faux website and they were selling it. They were saying it was like being sold for five euro 62 or something like that instead of seven euro and she sent me an email a message on it and she said are you going to honor this and and i and I, I answered her saying oh no that was when my sale was on but in actual fact it was from one of the bodgy websites of them selling and she i mean she got annoyed with me but it wasn't even me advertising it so um yeah just be wary well, most of the most of the sellers of PDF patterns like that, you know, artisanal sort of businesses are selling them on their Etsy or their Etsy or their own website. So don't go and um, be tricked. I mean, there's no reason to sell a PDF pattern on another website. That's just silly. Like someone like Nikki Franklin, who's a wonderful um, embroiderer, she has printed out patterns. And so, of course, you will see her patterns um, being sold on other websites because they're a physical pattern that you're receiving. They're not a um, PDF pattern, but there is no reason for a PDF pattern to be sold on a third-party website. That's just, you know, they, there would be no nothing in it for any, for them and there would be nothing in it for me sort of thing. So, um, yeah, so don't go and buy PDF patterns or digitals or anything from another website other than the original website. Does that make sense? I'm on a bit of a rant, but um, apparently this um, lovely Jade, she makes lovely, um, you know, softies, big plushy sort of toys for kids and lovely patterns. Um, and she she's had a lot, she has a lot of patterns um, and they've been stolen by this these websites. And not the images. I don't think they actually have her physical pattern because that was what what Jaff was telling me. Some of her digitals were in one of these websites, and um and and she said they don't actually people don't actually receive anything. So they're just stealing your money for nothing. So um yeah, if you come across it, if you can report it to like if you see an ad for it on Facebook or something like that or on Instagram, you um Instagram, you can report it. Um, and they'll, you know, maybe block them. But they all, you know what they do? You, I mean, as she said, you're just running up the hill because they're, they've got multiple websites. They just open up a new one. They just, yeah, they're scammers. They just open up a new one and there's not a lot we can do about it. Um, I keep thinking maybe I should go and put Roxy Creations across the pattern. Um, but they can just Photoshop it out. Um, and also those images are all over the place now, so it's a bit late for that pattern um, to be taken. I mean, for me to do that with that pattern. So um, unfortunately, this is this is the world we live in, that people, you know, just dishonest and stealing things. Images, really just stealing the images. Um, but I did write them an email, told them they'd been reported, and... But then she told me that she said in her um, her Instagram rant that they um, they're fake, fake email addresses, fake contact details, fake addresses. So um, that is just how it is. All we can do is say purchase from the original. Don't go to bodgy websites. OK, well, they're kind of faint, aren't they? But anyway, that's how they're going to be. Like they're blending in a bit. Right, let's see what's next. So this one I wanted to do a bit like, um, it's going to be red with green leaves. There's going to be three there. So, well, not red. I thought I might use this lovely raspberry color for those. 
I'll use longer ones so I don't threading all the time. We'll do one. Then I might use some perlay for its no, maybe a variegated thread. I don't know. I mean, oh guys, I have seen some amazing veggie patches. You guys have really gone to town with the veggie patches, honestly. Just incredible. Um puts me to shame. I feel like mine's just the pits. Look, I've got I even haven't got a stitch in there. I'll have to put another stitch in. Separated. That's a blow. Oh dear. So this one. I might just do a little like brown sort of line like it's the dirt as well. I probably didn't need such a thick needle for this one, but I'm gonna outline it with back stitch. Oh good oh good, I can change my needle. It's telling me to change your needle to get a thinner one so it's not such hard work. Because it will thread into this one. It's only it's not that thick. There we go. And then I'll leave that threaded so that way I can um, continue on with the other ones. Are we in focus? Yes. I'll just give you a tap just to make sure. And I still have to come back into this garden up here and and do a bit more but you know there's no hurry I'm not in a hurry and then I'm just going to do satin stitch across excuse me Thinking the leaves up the top, I think these I'm going to do with um, silk. And I was wondering how am I going to do my cabbages, and I think I've had a thought now. You see, this is what I mean, like... I think I mentioned this last week, you sort of sit down and think and then, then the next step comes to you. So I'm actually, I did the back stitch and I'm actually doing my satin stitch and I'm staying inside my um, back stitch. I'm not going over it like I did when over the daisy stitch. Oops, came up through the same hole there. Had a bit of a hiccup there. Now, I don't, yeah, did you see that? I come up next to my stitch um, and look what, oh, no, it's not doing it so much on the back, but you get, you use less thread. You have less wastage. So will I do the other one? I think I will. Actually, you know what? I have to change my mind. I am going to go ahead and do um, these. I'll tell you why. Because then when I put my leaves on, they can organically go over the top of the row above.
Okay. So I'm coming up next to my stitch. Um, so I waste less thread. It also doesn't make it so chunky on the back. Sometimes I don't do it, but um, I had this beautiful silk piece that my aunt gave me. I think it's downstairs still in one of my boxes. And it was an old um, silk embroidery from Japan. And when I turned it over, I literally could not see any of the stitches on the back. And it was all satin stitched with silk. And I figured out that they um, come up next to their stitch but it's so tiny they must use very fine needles and um, they literally probably just catch one thread um, and they and so there you couldn't see the stitches on the back which was incredible and yeah I think figured out that's the only way it could be happening rather than doing the traditional satin stitch which is like this so I went down here and then coming back over here like so and then you get you also get that amount of thread on the back but if you come up next to it, you only get that amount of thread on the top and a tiny little stitch on the other side. If that makes sense. Okay, nearly there. I'll do the last one after. I'll just do one of the leaves. Now I'll just jump up and grab my silk threads. Of course, I forgot to bring them over. Okay. Oops. So I'm going to leave that threaded because I still need to use that. I need that little piece. I need to put in another little stitch in there because it's sort of separated. And I'm just going to quickly grab my silk ribbon. Okay, so here it is. A lot of this my mum gave me and my aunt. And what am I going to use? What colour? Oh, well, I don't have that many greens, actually. I have a big box of them somewhere. I think I'll use this one. Yeah. No, that one might be good next door. Oh, that one. Might be too thick. Okay. All right, we'll do this one. I'm going to cut it at an angle so that way it's easier to thread and I'll put it in one of these. This needle will do. Because with the point it makes it easier to thread. And so you don't put a knot. I'm going to start in the kind of in the center here. I'm not an expert silk ribbon user. I just make it up, really. But I, wish, I would kind of wish I had a wider one. You go back into it. I'm wondering, you could also do, you could actually also do a daisy stitch, but that might be too much. So let's just do this. Yep, 
get that's going to be good so when I come up again I'm going to come up there I want to make sure I catch that I want to come over a little bit about no down there that's where I want to come up I've now caught yep I've caught it behind so that's not going to go anywhere do a little one there I'm not going to pull it too tight I want to have the little bumpy loopy bit I've probably cut myself too thicker um, like too longer thread um, silk thread because um, I'm actually going to do five it does start to wear a little bit as you use it so you probably should work with shorter lengths so what I'll do is I'll I'll leave this one out and I'll do my other ones after because then I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to also come into it with some I'll show you with an another color but with you know embroidery floss I'll do a little one there okay so I'm just gonna slide that through there okay so I'll leave that there and then I wanted to grab so you can see how um, it's time-consuming I'm just choosing a color not that color I want to go into my regular DMC and get a more Something like this, maybe that colour, acidy sort of colour. Take three strands. See if I can get them. I have needles everywhere on my table. I need to pick them up. And I am just going to I might be ruining it or I might be giving it more depth. Yeah, more detail. Yep, I like that better. It lifts it a little bit. Okay, so that's what they're going to look like. I mean, they're not very realistic, but we're just having a bit of fun, really. So I'll leave that one threaded so I can continue on with the others. Right. Then these little ones, I wanted to grab... What can I grab? Maybe... No, that's very similar to that. I don't want it to be similar. I might even grab this colour. This deep orangey sort of colour. I really need to gather up all my needles. They're all over the place.
and I'm going to do just some little stitches like this. Yep, like that. That's it. I'm not going to use the ribbon, I don't think, for that bit there. Um, and then I need a green. Which green will I use? I need to, we need a, var a variety of greens because otherwise everything's going to look the same. So I think I might use this one. Won't stand out very much, that's all, but anyway. Or I could use this one. Or, oops, dropped it. What about this one? Yeah, oh, no, not that one. It's too light. Won't be able to see that. I think we'll go back to the dark one. Or will that be too dark? You're probably saying to me, make a decision, girl. I forgot about these. My sister gave me this one. No, my mum gave me that one. What about that one? I think I'll use that one. This is one of those sock threads. So that will need a thick needle. Like a big eyed needle, I mean. Okay. And here I'm going to do, I think I'm just gonna be doing a little back stitch. I do a split back stitch so just go into the center of the split the thread we'll just see how it works out it might need a bit of work It's a bit pale, isn't it? Oh well. It's very pale. It looked like it was going to it is variegated a bit, so it does go darker and lighter. I must be in a light bit. It did look like it was going to be okay. So I'm just going to persevere. I may put a few more little stitches down there with the orange. Because I am just making this up. I don't even know what this is going to be. Maybe it's rhubarb. I don't know what rhubarb is. I'm not a gardener, you see. I just want to get the outline done, so that way I can, I'm going to put in a little bit of detail into it.
Okay. So, I do want to put a little bit more detail in there. I'm just thinking, what color? Maybe I'll use this. Not that part. Here's another needle. I'm gathering up all the needles off my table. I want this darker end. Oh, then it goes into the orangey end. I don't want the tanny sort of end. I don't want that. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Just putting some random stitches in to give the leaves a little bit more, I guess, dimension. But all these threads everywhere that get pulled through. I just need to fix up down below a little bit but I don't want to make it look like a carrot because it's not so I'm going to have just a couple oh helps if you put a knot Just a couple more stitches and then I'm going to have this come up a little bit into here. You know some of them have that sort of um, ready sort of vein in the, in the leaf. That's better. Okay, so that's what those are going to look like. Oops, oh my goodness, you're so close to me, I crashed into you. Now, guys, so I'm back. That's very disappointing because about um, 10 minutes of video has been out of focus. So I don't think you saw me do this and you didn't see me do that. So I'll do another one of those. Um... And I'll just go down and show you what these are going to be. I don't think I'm going to get my garden done. It's going to be a very long video. Um, so here I am just going to do, I'm actually going to do a vertical satin stitch. No. I want to do it horizontal. Oh, 
oh dear, not my day. Yes. I don't know what I was talking about. So I had to cut out nine minutes of video. It was a good thing I stopped because I was able to just, I kept the first 35 minutes, but it was actually 44 minute video. So I've, I've cut the, the last nine minutes off. Which is a shame. It's not the end of the world, but it's a shame. So that will be that one. And then I'm going to you'll see why I wanted to make sure I was going the right direction. I'm going to Grab one strand of a not that one of a purpley ready sort of colour. So maybe this this one. Or maybe two strands. Oh, that's good, that broke. Goes to show they don't last forever, these things. But these threads are super old. Okay. going to have some little stripes on it. Too close together. That's not what I was thinking. Let's just do it again. I'm all out of whack now that my video was out of focus. Not exactly how I imagined it, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's too much. Because everything's so small, 
it's quite hard to do what you want to do um, and then I need one of variegated thread I think I'll use this brighter These needles are like rods. I think I'll have that colour. Just to show you what the top's going to be like, it's just going to be long, you know, random stitches like this. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. I have to do the other one. Hmm, I probably should have started stitching this last week, but I didn't, did I? Okay, and then up here, all I did was... Um, what are they called? Um, French knots. Messed up my thread here. I think it's a silky thread, this one. Um, I did French knots. I'm actually going to go in and add a few more. I just used all six strands. And then I've just sort of gone around with the um, ribbon. And then I'm just coming in and putting in a few more because this is my cauliflower. To build it up a little bit, make it more dimensional. So I'm doing French knots on top of French knots. So I'm going to pause the video a second and I'm going to do more another one here. I'm going to have them really close together, I think. That's where I'm going to put my French knots. I'm only going to have four in the garden. Normally I would like five, but I can only fit four. Okay, so I'll do the French knots here and then I just want to show you the ribbon part. So I'm back. I've done my French knots, it's not in a perfect circle. Um, and I'm going to get my, I'm going to need a new ribbon thread in a minute. Not very long, this one. And I'm just doing little stitches around my, just, and I don't want to pull them too tight. I don't know what I've done here. better and then but I'm overlapping like I'm coming back here oh and overlapping Yeah, 
I don't want it all twirly. As I get it all twirly, doesn't matter, I'm going to build it up. can see how it does cover up some of your knots sometimes so you just have to um, reveal them or come in like I did on the other one and put more in now I need to go around further so I'm going to end this one off I need to do more Put it through there and then trim it because it will all stitch down. I'm not worried about it. focus yes because this is where one well, no, even I think the other one was no good either no I don't want to come back up in it just a sec just move it out of the way I'm just building up my shape around the center So this is the make it up as you go way to do it. I don't know if there's some special technique, but this is how I'm doing it. go there's my little cauliflowers I don't always want to call cabbages aren't they are they from the same family I don't know it shows how much I know about gardens veggie gardens any gardens really okay let me just tap it make sure you're all in focus so I'll do the other ones of those just quickly want to show you I'm thinking that I'm keep thinking that's like a teepee um, so I need I'm going to take this brown here. Oh, I have a nice piece here. And I'm going to thread that one. A lot of threading happening here and leaving in because I still need to come back and finish everything off. But it is starting to take shape. So these I thought would be little um, tomato ones. And I'm just going to do one big long stitch up to here. And then one big long one down there. My little teepee. And then to hold it down, I'm just going to put a 
a little stitch across the center. I might as well do the other one. If I've got enough thread. Oops, and these are going to be tomatoes. I'm going to do just green leaves with um, daisy stitch, and um, I'm not even going to fill them in because they'll be quite small. And then I'm going to just put little, I could do three little satin stitches next to each other to do my tomatoes, or I could do um, French knots. I actually don't need that colour anymore. Probably shouldn't keep that little piece, but I will. Um, so I won't show you that. That's fairly simple. Um, and then over here, I'm going to do um, lots of little leaves probably in all different shades of green just with again with daisy stitch and they'll be so I think I'll do little um I might do little stitches here with little satin stitches I'm going to do strawberries so I find a pinky color maybe that one I don't know and there'll be strawberries there so I think that's it for my video it was quite a struggle today um so I'm going to get that finished and then that will, let me just bring you back up now. Don't look, because you might get seasick. Let me pull you back up so you can see. Oops, just got to get you back into the right direction. There we go. Pull it up a bit higher. That's the garbage bin. So we can see how it's progressing here. So we've got the wildflowers. We've come in the garden gate. And here we're doing, working on the, the veggie patch and I'm really happy with it now I got really stressed for a minute there I felt stressed um, but I feel like it's coming together um, I think I'm going to put like a spade or a pitchfork up here I'm still thinking about that I'm going to do a little bit of embroidery into here as well just to blend in some of that green um, there as well so um, yeah and then there's still the work to do over there I haven't done that yet and I've still there's still lots of work to be done on it um, so, but we're getting there. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry that we missed nine minutes of it. Um, this one turned out better than that one anyway. So, um, so yeah, so that it was good that I showed that. I think you missed that. That was just, um, I, I went around the leaves and then I came back with a bit of the orange. I just did a few little orange stitches for whatever vegetable that is. Um, and I think you might have seen that one. I don't know. I apologize. It was just satin stitch and then I did the leaves, but I need to do the one up there. So anyway, I'm going to sit down and keep on working on it. And maybe through through the week, I can post a completed vegetable patch um, photograph on Instagram. So I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.